Hey guys, and welcome back to The Bright Side. Macy here, The Bright Side Girl, and today I am doing my March book haul. Aww. And look, I now have beautiful shelves, and I am in my new house, and I'm so excited that I can get on a regular schedule because I no longer have my hair job. I'm just working from home for my mom's company, so I'm going to be able to do more videos and more reading, and it's just going to be so awesome. That being said, let me just preface this video with these are my TBR shelves. Just look at it. They are the full size, kind of like your Ikea standard, but I got them from Walmart. Like, you know, six foot to the floor shelves. They're filled with TBR books, none of which are from this haul today. So I have not been good. <laughs> I got my TBR down to like 210 before we moved, which meant that I got rid of like around 100 books. But I was thinking once we moved here that I wouldn't have as many bookstores to frequent or just there aren't as many libraries in the area that we're at so I didn't think I'd find as many good deals and that was so wrong. There is a library near me that has a book sale every single Thursday and there are some awesome Goodwills and then I just I found so many awesome books and I was just so freaking excited. This March book haul is literally just like the last two weeks of March because I was moving the rest of the month. So anyway, I have 23 books to share with you today and we're just going to get started. First up, I have a very exciting book. This is the only book that I ordered offline this month. So I got Earth Star by Janet Edwards. This is the second book in the Earth Girl trilogy. I plan on doing a reread of at least Earth Girl for the month of April since it is Earth Month, but I wanted the second book because it's the last one that I didn't have in case I wanted to read the full trilogy for the month. One of my all-time favorite series and you will hear me talk a lot more about this in future videos. Then I finally found a nice copy of the Invention of Hugo Cabaret. So I'm excited to finally have this because I have never read it and I think it's about a boy that lives in a clock and I've seen the movie and it was kind of weird but I feel like I'm gonna like this a lot more magical awesomeness. Then I got Hidden by Kelly Armstrong. This has, this is an old library book so I still need to like get the cover off of it. I bought it from the library but um, this one I got because it's about werewolves and it talks about, um, it literally because the synopsis says hiking through the snow, holiday baking, playing board games by the fire, what's not to love about an old fashioned family Christmas, but it's about werewolves. So it's got paranormal fantasy and Christmas and I was so in even though this cover is super weird. Then I found Ripple by Mandy Hubbard. This is a mermaid book that's been on my list. And yeah, mermaid fantasy book. Okay, I got three more books in the series of the Chronicles of the Imagination Geographica by James A. Owen. Um, the first book being Here There Be Dragons I got a while back, but I got book four, The Shadow Dragon, book seven, The Fire Dragon, and book six, The Dragon of Winter. And these are just super awesome. Ray Bradbury on the back just says that this is the man, so it's apparently cool and Ray Bradbury likes them, but dragon fantasy books. Then I got Miss Mayhem from the Rebel, Rebel Bell trilogy by Rachel Hawkins. This is the only book I have from the trilogy, but I found Rebel Bell, but it was just too expensive, so I couldn't buy it, but we're going to start my collection off with this one. Finally found a copy of Rooms by Lauren Oliver. I have been wanting to read this for a very long time or listen to it. I really enjoy Lauren Oliver's writing style and this one's supposed to be like scary and spooky and I don't really know anything else but it's like kind of like a ghost story about a house or involving a house and I'm into it. I got Tantalized by Cynthia Latachi Smith. I had this one like on my TBR for a while. I don't remember why. I think it's paranormal, like witches, or vampires or something like that but I just always really liked this cover even though I don't like people on the covers, so yeah. As usual, really great descriptions of my books that I'm getting. I got The Forest of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan. I honestly wanted this book, A, because it's been hyped on booktube a little bit, and also because it's got an awesome title, The Forest of Hands and Teeth. 
Sounds scary and awesome for my fall TBR. Speaking of fall TBR, I got Hexed by Michelle Cries. This is another like a witch book with another awesome cover. I believe this is a trilogy as well. Two books by Cinda Williams Chima. I got The Grey Wolf Throne and The Demon King from the Seven Realms series or trilogy or something like that. I have other Cinda Williams Chima's books and I'm excited to add these to my TBR. More fall books. Something Strange and Deadly by Susan Denard, who also wrote Truth Witch, I believe. Um, more witches or gothic creepiness. I promise next time I'll have better descriptions. <laughs> then I got two books by Amanda Hawkins. I got Lullaby and Title. I'm sorry, by Amanda Hawking. These are from the Water Song Quartet, which is a mermaid quartet. I think I have Wake or something like that, which is the first one. Yes. Wake is the first one, and I'm really stoked because Mermaid Marathon is coming up and I needed new mermaid books. I also found Sun and Moon, Ice and Snow. I hauled this a while back, and then I unhauled it in my big giant unhaul, and then I forgot that it was a kind of a Beauty and the Beast retelling, and it's supposed to be really good, so I rehauled it right now. I'm adding it to my fairy tale retelling pile again. And lastly, one of my libraries had some arcs that were totally exciting to find and they were really cheap. They were like 25 cents. So I went ahead and grabbed these because a lot of these are newer releases as well. I got Shimmer and Burn by Mary Taranta. Honestly, they were like four for a dollar. So I picked this one up because the cover was kind of cool, but I have, no, I have literally no clue. I don't think I've ever seen it before or anything. Same thing kind of with this one, Last Star Burning by Caitlin Singster. Kind of like a fantasy, I don't know, some kind of cool fantasy book. I got The Becoming of Noah Shaw because this came out recently and I'm hoping to jump into Mara Dyer this fall. I got Autobiography by Christina Lauren because I've heard wonderful things about this and that's one of my favorite covers. And then I got Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman. I need to read this and Scythe, but now I at least have this one. And I'm really excited that it's an arc for some reason because I've never gotten arcs before, even though they weren't sent to me. But yeah, you guys, that is it for my March book haul. There were a lot of books. I have already a bunch for April as well, since I'm filming this in April. And I'm really excited to film in my new location. I hope you guys enjoyed it and are having a great day. And I'll see you guys next time on the bright side. Bye!